I think really what the Fed's job is, as far as Biden is concerned, is helping me get reelected and kicking the can down the road until the next election. Do you think anyone would do something different? Like, if what would they, you have done if you were in that seat? Well, you know, what I would do, I, you know, I would let the markets know that the Fed is no longer going to be setting interest rates, that the market was going to do that, and we were going to start liquidating our holdings of U.S. Treasuries. <laughs> because they say, <laughs> and of course, in so doing, there would be massive losses uh, that, and, and you know, the bill goes to the U.S. taxpayer. You know, as the Fed unwinds its balance sheet, any losses are IOUs to the U.S. taxpayer because the U.S. government has to make the Fed whole um, for that. Um, I, but also, you know, I would let the government know that the Fed is no longer in the business of monetizing government debt and that if you want your bill back better, you better figure out how you're going to pay for it. How, how Okay, this is what I want to talk about as well, is uh, they say it's cost zero dollars. Is that bullshit? Of course it's bullshit. I mean, they, right. o- they always say that because their assumptions are ludicrous. Like I what? Mean, Break it down for me. Well, the revenue Schiff. assumptions, they're not going to get the revenue. A lot of the revenue is supposedly going to come from extra IRS agents, you know, getting the rich to pay their fair share. Well, you know, they're not going to get much more money out of the rich. Uh, there's not that many rich people other than you crypto guys. Um, but And you don't pay taxes anyway because you never so, sell. You're right? so salty. You just, you're so <laughs> salty. You guys never sell, so they're not getting any You'd tax be one money. of the richest people in the world if you had bought Bitcoin when you first heard about it. Keep going. But, um, but they're not going to get the revenue. I okay. mean, they're obviously mainly going to target the middle class. That's where the extra IRS enforcement is going. But you know, it's hard to get blood from a stone. So I don't think they're going to get a lot of revenue. Meanwhile... All these new programs are going to cost so much more than they think. I mean, first of all, they act as if the programs are going to go away in, you know, five years because they don't want to count the spending in the out years. Although we all know that these programs never go away. Once they're there, they're there forever. I mean, we're still dealing with temporary programs from the Second World War. You know, the war ended. Well, why are these temporary programs still in effect, right? They, they never go away. There's an old saying, I think it was Milton Friedman, there's nothing as permanent as a temporary government program. So to pretend that these programs are going to sunset is nonsense. But also, they have grossly underestimated the cost because the government doesn't understand moral ha- hazard. They don't understand what happens. So part of the Build Back Better is everybody gets free um, uh, preschool. Well, the cost of preschool is going to go way up once the government makes it free because now the demand for preschool goes way up and now the preschool start jacking up their tuition because they like know the, the defense industry. Pay. The defense industry says, oh, you're going to pay us all this money? Yeah. We're just going to keep increasing the cost of it to you because we yeah. know you got a ton of money. It's just like, look what government did to college tuition. Before the government started subsidizing college tuition and guaranteeing loans, college tuition was cheap. Government gets involved and it costs a fortune. So it's gonna, it's they're gonna end up spending a lot more on preschool than they think. But I think the biggest one is gonna be if it stays in there, because the Senate might get rid of it. But that is the paid family uh, medical leave, uh, because everyone's gonna take that. They just assume that well, only the people that actually have a medical emergency are going to ask for their four week paid vacation. No. I mean, didn't they learn their lesson from the PPP or the extended unemployment benefits? If you tell an American that they can have a four week paid vacation at 90 percent of salary every single year and all they have to do is claim they have to take care of a sick friend or family member, you don't think they're going to say that my brother just got sick.